All right, I want to do a comparison of, of a comparison of fatty acid degradation and biosynthesis. So beginning with degradation here, um, the product of the process of fatty acid breakdown or beta oxidation is acetyl-CoA and that enters the TCA cycle. In biosynthesis, the precursor is acetyl-CoA, but it's actually this Milano-CoA molecule that is the source of the carbons. Okay, number two for fatty acid degradation, Milano-CoA is not involved, okay? That molecule is unique to the biosynthesis process. Um, for fatty acid biosynthesis, it requires the molecule biotin. Um, for fatty acid degradation, ox it's an oxidative process, and the oxidative processes require NAD plus and FAD, so they require electron acceptors that get reduced. Um, for biosynthesis, it's a reductive process that requires NADPH and ATP. So for fatty acid breakdown, it requires fatty acids form thioester bonds, okay, with the CoA molecule. And for biosynthesis, the fatty acids also form thioesters, but with a different molecule called the acyl or acyl carrier protein, ACP, okay? Um, for fatty acid breakdown, it starts at the carboxyl end, and in biosynthesis, it starts at the methyl end, so the process begins at the carboxyl end in degradation, begins at the methyl end in biosynthesis. Um, degradation occurs in the inner mitochondrial matrix. I said that before, that it occurs in a different location, so it actually occurs in the inner mitochondrial matrix, and biosynthesis occurs in the cytosol. So, two separate places within the cell. And finally, over here under the degradation list, I want to say that beta hydroxyl or beta hydroxy acyl intermediates have an L configuration. And in the biosynthesis process, beta hydroxy intermediates have the D configuration, so they have opposite configuration. And um, biosynthesis is catalyzed by a multi enzyme complex.